Yesterday, Venezuela shocked the world by tying the U.S. men's basketball team for a quarter, and they got killed. Well, he had a quarter. Welcome to Extra Point, I'm your host Rob King. Before we get into the medal ceremony and figure out who the winners and losers of day three were, I think we need to talk about Michael Phelps. I mean, I, I've seen game faces before, but damn, Michael, why are you so angry? Is it because you have 19 gold medals, but all anyone wants to talk about are your back hickeys? Are you mad because the younger swimmers are calling you Mr. Phelps? Are you listening to rap music again, Michael? All right, winners and losers, day three, what's going on here? The medal ceremony. First off, losers, bronze medal, I'm giving it to the United Airlines commercial, where a lady pole vaults onto a plane. No, I'm calling shenanigans on this right off the bat. Okay, first off, everyone knows you, you can't gate check a pole vault. You gotta do that at check-in. All right, secondly, is that all she's wearing? There's no luggage? That's, that's shady. And then she gets on the plane, and they get her a glass of champagne, everyone's cool with this? No! <laughs> An air marshal would stop her right away. It, 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 something's not adding up here, and no one's asking questions except me. I mean, United. Bronze medal, bronze medal. Silver medal, Shane Tussup. He is the husband of gold medalist Hungary swimmer Katinka Hasu, and the guy loves cheering on his wife. He just paces the sidelines back and forth like some barista hulk. Shane, you're clearly a good coach, but with the ponytail and the tattoos, I feel like your real talent might be making foam art in people's coffees. Gold medal, I'm giving it to Lily King. It is good to be the king. She not only won gold, she won it over a Russian who was suspended for doping. People, this is our Rocky IV. Not only that, but Lily King called out the Russian with the finger wag heard round the world. Her, her finger wag will go down in Olympic history along with Mary Lou Retton's 10, Carrie Strug's one-legged landing, or uh, Bob Costas' pink eye. This is going to be huge. After the Olympics, Lily King's gonna go on a finger wagging tour with Dikembe Mutombo, In Vogue, and Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Day three is in the books, and joining us now to talk about some of the trends he's been seeing is head writer of The Kicker, Zach Phillips. Zach, welcome to the show, man. Thanks. Good to be here. Yeah, so what are you, what are you seeing right now? What's going on? Well, you know, Bob Costas said it last night, and it's true. The big trend of this Olympics so far is that women are killing it. And not just U.S. women, all women. You know, I did a little back-of-the-envelope calculation. Women have won about half of the medals given out so far. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. You know, there are some events where men haven't even qualified at all, and a lot of events where women literally swept the medal stand. Events like uh, women's cycling, women's weightlifting, women's 100-meter butterfly, women's synchronized springboard for women, women's yeah, air, women's uh, pistol, and softball. Re yeah, right, okay. Th those are women's events. So, how would... Okay, you know see, what I'm saying? I, like, yeah, I see what you're saying. I know some people are going to come at me with this, and I'm trying too hard to create a trend, but I'm drawing an arbitrary line around gender that I should look at these people as athletes and not women's athletes. And to that, I would earnestly uh, respond, have you seen how many women have won women's judo? I mean, face it, the story of this Olympics is the women. Katie Ledecky, Lily King, Simone Biles, Allie Reisman, and most of all, Shane Tusip's wife. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Zach. Sure. All right, time for you pick. Rivalries make the games more exciting, but what else can we add to the games to, to bump them up a little bit? My pick, we fill the Olympic swimming pool with smart sharks from the movie Deep Blue Sea. That's right. The same sharks that outsmarted Sam Jackson. That's my pick. But I want to know what your pick would be. So in the comments below, let us know what you think we should add to the games to bump them up a little bit. And I will read the coolest ones in the next episode. All right, guys, last episode we asked you what cool new events we should add to the Olympics, and here's what you said. Baron Von Teapot, very cool, said chess boxing. Classy, but dangerous, Baron. Thanks. And Rishi Bando Pade said crab soccer. Rishi, great suggestion, but crabs already have their own Olympics. It's played under the sea. And, okay, I didn't, anyway. Guys, I'm Rob King. Thanks for watching The Extra Point.